fucking talk golden to me. It's my dream to have a golden beard. <laughs> Younger but looks older. I'll even try a squat. Here we go. The, uh, the uh, six of clubs. The golden. Let's have some fun. Welcome to another episode of the Talk Golden to Me video podcast show. Your host, Evan Golden, Golden TV, as always, here at the studios at the Berman Law Group. Today, we get to talk to an MTV reality Whoop. star sensation. Get off my face. Let's go quad view for all our viewers. Brandon Gomes from Siesta Key is in the studio today. He's looking fresh, looking fine. Yes, Million dollar smile. Oh, Look like at that, that smile, you know? it's, the, it's the pearly whites, you know? Man, you'd be flossing and brushing a couple times today, huh? <laughs> You know? Exactly, man. How's everybody feeling? How you Yo, doing, man? Yeah, we're feeling good, man. I'm glad that you came in here. I want to talk to you about season three of um, Siesta Key coming up yeah. on MTV. But I really want to talk to you about your music career because I want all our viewers, our listeners to know that you are a legit recording artist. Yes, sir. You I are talented, it. man. You are so talented, so Thank dope, you, so fresh. And your music, because I've listened to it all now and you keep making new stuff. Thank you yes. for letting me listen to some of that new stuff. No, nah, man. I appreciate it. It, it. it reaches so many demographics. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that is for maybe young teenagers or, or high schoolers. Or yep. is, I don't know. Can you describe kind of... Let's talk. Let's go right into music first before we go into yeah, TV. Sure. Because I think that's where, that's where your talent is, man. I appreciate it, man much love yeah so i mean like i try to i try to pride myself on like being versatile and like making a bunch of different genres of music i really don't like put myself in a box or like overthink anything so like my music sort of comes off that way and that's the best part man i get in the studio and however i'm feeling at that moment that's the exact vibe we're gonna catch on the song you know like i'll meet up with my boy michael Safa, my producer and that's how it is man i got so much new music dropping i actually just dropped the album called left coast it's on all platforms but I'm dropping so much more new music with the airing of Siesta Key coming up. So it's going to be real good, man. I actually performed some last night at the concert. That's probably what you heard. So Yo, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for people to hear. This music is so dope. It's so fresh. So viewers yeah. and listeners, listen, get on, get on the Brandon Gomes train now. Right now. You want to be the person that says, Yo, I've been, I've been bumping with him. I've been riding with him. I've known about this. You don't want to be the kind of the, the late runner to this. The so, bandwagon. Uh, yeah, nah. the bandwagon. It's, right. it's good, man. Where'd you get some of your musical inspiration from? You always kind of had that. Listen, I, I'm like tone deaf. I don't, I can't feel beats i can't nah, I were you just born with that stuff so like i mean i've honestly been rapping for like a really long time just like having fun with it like with my friends like i'd always be like just like freestyling you know rapping having fun and um it really just came down to the point where i was like yo like I, like i enjoy doing this i'm good at it like i want to do it seriously so honestly a lot of my inspiration came from just like being sensitive to everything going on around me and then like hearing stars like Wiz khalifa or, or hearing people like big sean and mac miller being like yo like that atmosphere and the music did something for me and I just want to give that back to like the people listening in to me so that's honestly where it came from man and like as I keep going on in life and just learning different things and seeing different things I just put it all into the music I you know? love that I love that and you're writing all your own music it's all from real yep. life experiences coming from your heart your brain what you're dealing with NCS the key yeah 100% yeah I'm writing I'm writing all my music that's pretty much like what it is like you know like I'm a, I, I, I like writing I enjoy it so like I write all my own music and yeah, record it like all like all at Sarasota, you know, right over there in Siesta Key. So that's pretty much what like that's that's the core of my music. It all comes right there from home on the left coast. I like that. I think a lot of people need to know you don't have to you have to be in Hollywood. You don't have to be in L.A. You could you can make music anywhere if that's your passion and, and that's your art and that's what you want to pursue, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like I, like I lived in New York for two years and I, I always see people and hear people like I gotta move to L.A. to make it. I gotta blow up. I gotta go to New York this and that. And it's like really no matter where you go, it really comes down to like how dope you are, like. What is your music doing for people, or whatever it is, whatever you're doing, like no matter if it's music, this, that, it's like, what are you doing for people? What are you providing that people are gonna come see the value you have, you know? So I'm doing it from home, you know, and I feel like it's gonna work out that way. Tell me, educate me on the music industry now, because look, when I was growing up, it was it was buying CDs. Buying, yeah, yeah. I was actually even buying tapes. Yeah, yeah. You know what a tape is? Yeah, of course. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like cassette tape. Cassette tape. You've never seen one, have you? <laughs> no, I've never owned one personally, but I've seen them before. Like they're laying around my house from way back. So in look, the day. you were actually buying a physical thing. You know, you'd actually have a tangible item, and you yeah. could obviously track you track sales. You could track how many records, how many tapes, how many. How's it work now? Because there, look, there's music on Spotify, iHeart, iTunes, it, satellite. I mean, what is, is it? Just streams and plays? Is it, do you need a record label? No, I mean, like success looks like a million different ways in this industry. But um, honestly, like the industry nowadays, man, it's all like digital. You know, like I'm not really people aren't really selling CDs anymore and selling physical hard copies of tapes. Like if I'm not mistaken, like these newer cars aren't even having CD players in the cars. It's all like auxiliary and stuff like that or Bluetooth. So it's really all digital. You know, you make 
uh, you ha- have millions of streams, you know, it's going to convert into a dollar amount. And, you know, like on YouTube, all these streams. And then, like, that's why I say success looks a bunch of different ways. Because you could, I could make a song and a, bi- a big movie could pick it up and want to put it in their movie. And that could be a million right there, you know. I could go drop a music video and that does 10, 20 million. I make money off that. Just being on Apple Music and Spotify, like, the more streams you have, the more money you make. You can go touring and make a bunch of money, you know. So it's really, like, up to... However, you get it. So it sounds it. like there's almost probably more avenues now, you know? No, so there is. Nice. There is. There is. There's definitely a lot of avenues to make money, you know? And it's it's just like a matter of getting out there and getting your fans to come, like, tune into whatever you're doing, you know? And that's what I'm tapping into. Man, don't stop making music. You're just yeah. on the cusp, man. I, I think that a lot of people already are already respected and have already recognized what you could do as an artist. I, I got to see this man perform live at a private event last night. And <laughs> we started talking. I was like, yo, you're coming on the podcast. And that's why we got him here right here that's right now. That's why we're here, man. That's Go why we TV. got here. So yeah. listen, I was like, dude, everyone's got to start learning about. Listen, he, he's a handsome model on Siesta Cam TV, <laughs> but... Behind that smile is some talent, some talent. So I had to recognize bro. that. I had to represent. Following all his, what, what's your Instagram? I know you got some underscores in that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so my Instagram is underscore or oh, at underscore Brandon Gomes. My Twitter is underscore BG underscore Gomes. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube, Brandon Gomes. Pretty much, if you just type in Brandon Gomes or wherever, you're gonna find me. You might find a baseball pitcher. <laughs> Stay away from that guy. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, honestly, yeah, Brandon Gomes. Follow me on whatever platform I'm there. Sweet. So he's a good follow, man. You keep it live. You keep it yeah. authentic. Always yeah. sharing what's going on. And Let's uh, go. What are you going to say? I was going to say, and follow Golden TV. You know? Oh, man. You always <laughs> see. I like that. You always, you're always sharing it. You're always, you always giving sure. it back. You got to give to get in this world, right? Yeah, 100%, man. We'll go. I usually, I usually kind of end my show with this. I talk about like golden nuggets, mm-hmm. you know, some wisdom. You're a young kid, but what, what kind of philosophy would have been instilled in you that you could maybe share with our viewers and listeners? Some golden nuggets of life. So some golden nuggets of life, honestly, is just, you know, keep your nose down. Don't, like, get distracted by, like, what people say and what people think of you and what people suggest and advise you do. Um, you know, really just, like, what I have a passion. Whatever you love, whatever you, like, are willing to die for, honestly, then that's what it needs to be. And you need to do whatever you need to do to get there. And just, just keep the real ones around. Like I said, keep your nose down and don't get caught up in all this BS going around out here. And and just keep the story going, man. You know, that's that's pretty much what that would be that would be my golden nuggets, you know. That's good, man. That's good. I'm gonna take that, man. You you got I, I felt like some inspiration and some spiritual kind of vibes in you. So I, I like that, man. That's a good attitude and you gotta have that. Listen. The music industry, as you know, you're going into the hardest industry out of any out of any business. You chose the hardest one, son. I know, man. I know. It's crazy. So you got it. You got it. You have like the right mindset. So 100%. hopefully you can keep that. Keep that. Uh, 100%, man. I'm going to keep the story going regardless, you know? That's dope. Let's talk a little about MTV CST. You got a lot of fans here. You got a man. You got women just attacking you every time you do a post know, on that right? show. <laughs> you tell me about a little about Siesta Key that maybe we don't know. The viewers Se- season three starting what couple months? Season three, yeah, should be out here like within the next couple months for sure. You know, it's they're always like pushing it back, this and that, maybe putting it earlier, but I would say it's gonna be out in the next couple months, man. Siesta Key this season is gonna be insane. To be honest, like while I was filming it. There was parts where I was like, man, wow, this is going on live TV. I can't believe that. <laughs> so, like, honestly, just definitely tune in for that. We got a whole lot of, like, stuff you wouldn't expect. New cat, Like, a lot of people, you'd be like, wow. <laughs> how, does, well, how does so much drama follow this crew? Man, like, it's just, like, I, like, I find myself as, like, I don't really have, I don't really like get caught up in the drama like that, you know, like I've never been that way, but with this group, you know, there's no way around it. It's really like, you know, like no matter what secret you have, no matter what like that you did wrong or if you say anything offensive or rude, everyone's firing back at you. They're not taking like, they're not like swallowing their pride. It's all like, no matter where you go, there's drama, you know, like even at the good parties, even at the like rekindling parties, there's drama, you know? But it's like, I mean, that's just what it is, bro. You know, we put a bunch of girls that have passed, like, like either like a girl that been with a guy and then this new girl comes in that been with that guy or whatever it is, you know, same with the girls, you know, like, it's just, it's, it's tough, bro. It really is, you know. What's it like filming a reality show? It's just like cameras in your face or the public see you like people that want to maybe see kind of the behind the scenes and understand, obviously you guys are mic'd and you guys are filming in public places, right? Yeah, no, for sure. So, I mean, it's like, 
yeah, I mean, really, it's just like you can, you can expect to have a camera in your face for at least half the day, you know, um, most of the week, you know, no matter what you have going on in your private life that's coming out, you know. So it's like you just got to really get – like I've been doing it. For, we're going on a third season now, so I've pretty much been – I've had a camera in my face for the last two years, you know, two and a half years. So I'm used to it now, but it really is, you know, like you got to sit back and think like, man, no matter what happens, like it's going to get broadcasted, <laughs> you know? Hey, you even had a cheating scandal broadcast on yeah, national television. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Are you labeled now as like as a cheater? How are man, you, you going to rebuild your, your man, you, you know, your man <laughs> relationships? I'm telling you, man, people just like, you know, like it, I, it happened and I, I was trying to keep it a secret and it came out, you know, and I just learned from that to like, you know, you can't do that. And it's just like, no matter, like I said, everyone thinks of me like, oh, you cheated on Madison, this and that, you know, but it's like. Man, you know, like just because your life's your life's not broadcasted, mine is. You're seeing me, but there's so many people out here going through the same stuff. So at least they can relate to me, and I'll be the one that takes it. You know? Yeah, but you were a man about it, right? You took responsibilities yeah, for your actions. You owned it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I owned it. I tried to hide it for a little bit, but I, you know, it was beating me up. So I owned it. You know, came out about it. Whatever happened, you know, I took it like a man, and and just, and just kept the story going, and. And, you know, like, I, I, I hope people see through that. And they're like, you know, like, no matter what happens, people make mistakes. He's a good kid. I like his, like, whole, like, movement. I like everything he's doing. So the real ones I appreciate. And if you don't like me, it's all good. I appreciate you, too, you know. <laughs> Show only love, right? Exactly. 100%. You want to play a little fun game that I play with a lot of my guests? Oh, let's play some games, man. Oh, you like games? Yeah, let's play some games. All right. He asked for it. I wasn't going to do it. Our game here is called Word for Word, okay? Okay, Word for Word. So sometimes I say someone's name. Sometimes I say a, a fruit, an animal. You could only respond with one word okay. that comes to your mind. Okay. I'm not going to say anything but people's names. And what I'm going to be saying is different castmates of your show, Siesta Key. So you have to say the first word that comes to your mind okay. when I say their name. And it could be anything. Anywhere. Be anything. But the only thing I need you to be is brutally honest okay all right i got you i got you all right now we're gonna play our favorite game on our show word for word with our guest brandon gobes he knows the rules he can only say the first word that comes <laughs> to his mind when i say someone's name or fruit or vegetable he doesn't know what i'm saying but say the first word that comes to your mind you understand the rules i understand the rules let's do it all right it's time for word for word producer give me a little background music like game show something something good yeah it's good all right word for word right now with brandon gobes on the talk golden to me video podcast show you must say the first word that comes to mind be brutally honest only one word and begin here we go I'm ready. Juliet. Uh, fire. Alex. Straightforward. Madison. Innocent. Chloe. Mean. Garrett. Swole. Kelsey. Scandalous. Ooh, scandalous. Canvas. Around. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say Madison yet? Madison, yeah. It, innocent. All right. Innocent. But like, uh, like All right, innocent. You say the first one. I try to like put like innocent, but not too innocent. You know, like come on, she. All right, Jarrett. Uh, Marine. Kara. Is it Kara or Kara? Oh, Kara. Kara, sorry. Uh, Kara. Cruel. Ooh, cruel Kara. Cruel Kara. Ooh, cruel. Cruel Kara. Cool. That was word for word, siesta key style with Brandon Gobes. You got 100%, man. You passed. Awesome, man. Perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. That's so funny. We did it, man. All right, you know what your prize is? You get to eat a little piece of gold. Awesome, man. Let's Have you ever it. had gold? I've, I mean, I've like, I'm like you know, bracelets right? and stuff. Here I've never go. ate gold. So you're about to eat some gold. It puts hair on your chest. Here, cheers. So, cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> you just eat the gold. Yeah, go ahead. Look at that. Awesome. Man. What do you think? How's it taste? You didn't think you were gonna be eating gold on the talk. I gold definitely didn't think I was gonna be eating gold. It tastes like, it tastes like twenty four carrots. Twenty four carrot man. Hey, we got to take care of our guests, guys. I like we take it, care man. of our guests here. Of, of course, course, man. I appreciate it. Come on. Anything for BG in the house, man. Siesta Key Season 3 starting soon on MTV. Can't wait to see that. Crazy things in store, as we've heard from Mr. Gomes. And a lot of, mu lot of new music dropping as well. I got gold all over myself. Right I got now. gold on my molars right now, but I love it, man. I just <laughs> ate gold. <laughs> Man, That's Mr. Crazy. Gomes, what else going on in life, man? Are you pretty, you pretty thankful? You pinching yourself? I mean, you reality TV shows, yeah, making man. music, doing you're doing what you love to do, right? Yeah, hundred percent. How's that feel to be able to do what man, you love to do, man? It's it's a blessing, bro. You know, it's it's just like you know, like I wake up, I do exactly like what I want. I'm I'm, I'm striving for what I what I like, what I would die for, you know. And it's like 
it's 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 amazing, man. You know, you wake up and sometimes some things will get you like annoyed or this and that. And at the end of the day, I always like circle back to like, man, like how blessed I am. Like you know, like look what I'm doing. Like look what I just did last night. Look what I'm doing right now. You know, like at the end of the day, man, it's just like I'm I'm, I'm living it up. So I just it's 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 amazing, bro. You know. You said uh, Kelsey is scandalous. So I uh, just like you know like uh like. I don't know. It was the first day it came to mind, I was just thinking of some things that, like, you know, she did and that me and her sometimes are, like, the same boat, you know, like, the things that we do. And, like, it's just, like, you know, like, with, like, the relationships and, like, the, the cheating and then, like, you know, like, getting caught up in the drama. So it's it sort of just, like, you know, you sort of just get, like, caught up and then you're trying to, like, put a front, like, you're not doing this and you're sort of trying to lie and trying to, try to do this. And I've just seen Kelsey in that position a couple of times, you know. I love her. I love her to death. But, you know, like, it's just sort of what I thought. You love her, but you know that she has that scandalous side, so you're yeah. a little weary? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, just sort of like something like that. All right. What's up with uh, Kara? She's cruel? I thought she's a nice, sweet girl. She, Yeah, that's what you think. You know, she is a cool, like, sweet girl, you know. But then, like, she has these times where you'd be like, ooh, cruel. Be like, oh man, like she seems uh, a little snobby to me. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, you know. Like I should, I so I, that would be a better word, honestly. You know, a little snobby, you know. But uh, yeah, you know. And then like, I don't know. Like that's the first thing I think of. Like, I th- like if you ask me like an hour from now, I'd probably be like say different things about these people. Was the first thing that came to my mind. Hey, that's but, what you're thinking now. Yeah, though. I got. A, I know a lot about these people, so there's a lot of layers to it. You know, like I call Chloe me at the same time. I could be Chloe's loving. You know, Chloe's mom. But then you'd be like, Chloe's mean. <laughs> you know, like Garrett, swole. Garrett, quiet. You know, Juliet, cry. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, Juliet's crying. Uh, was there a, a counter on how many times she cried in season two? Do you guys, man, what was it up to? How many cries per episode? Juliet cried, bro, <laughs> at least like four times per episode. And this last season, season two, at least four times per episode. Man, like that's they, why she stays so skinny and in shape. She exactly. Just, she just shed in water weight. She just shed in, <laughs> shed in water weight. That's exactly what she's doing. You know, like, and it's just she out of everyone, she's cried the most. If Is you, she like turning it on for the camera? And she's like, listen, I know if I put the tears on, they're they're, they're filming me, and I want airtime and camera time. Or is she just that sensitive? Or like, what, what's the what's the story behind that? I, I mean, like, you know, like I think like um, it's sort of like she, like she just sort of. Like, she, she'll be drinking, and then she gets really sensitive when she's drinking. And then, like, no, you could be like, Juliet, like, I don't like your shoes. And she'd probably, like, start crying. You know, like, it, it will, like, you know, like, especially if she was sad at that moment. Because she just, you know, she just gets, like, emotional when she's, like, either, like, drinking or, like, around people she doesn't want to be. But if she's around Alex, you know, and, like, we're, we're drinking and, you know, you insult her, she's probably going to get mad or start crying, you know. Alex and uh, Juliet both have new lovers now. Alex and Juliet, they're like, you know, they're just keep, they're just moving moving forward in life, doing what she, he's doing and, and she's doing what she's doing and they're just, you know, going moving forward with different people or whatever they're doing, you know. You never know nowadays. I don't see them as much as I want to. <laughs> what about Madison? Do you get to see her as much as you want to? Uh, no, nah, not anymore, especially after everything. Madison's sort of like... Uh, and I think she moved to LA and she's like uh, out there. I'm not sure really if she's like with like another guy or if she's not or I'm not sure, you know. That's why I said I said innocent, but Madison's the kind of girl that like you say she's innocent, you see her in the library like reading books, but then you see her at like a like death metal concert, like, you know, like <laughs> with like four chokers around her neck and like like rocking out. You know, that's what I'm that's what I meant by like innocent. Like sort of like innocent, but then you'd be like, Wow, you got some elements to you, you know. I think that's what made you maybe you know yeah. fall in love with her. No, that's a fact. That's exactly it. You know, sort of like same thing here. You know, you like the music. When I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know, so same sort of thing. You know, you but, still have feelings for her. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just like Madison. Like, you know, like we we've been to so much. You know, I'll always care for the girl, but you know, like I I, I moved on. I'm doing my thing. You know, and uh, and she's she's like she's doing hers. You know, like I've I've I'm with like you know another girl now. You know, like I, I'm like like you know like. I love her. I don't really like, you know, I, I, I love Madison, you know, I always got, I always have love for her, you know, but just life goes on, you know. They uh, they finally got Pauly off the show, Pauly Paul? Pauly, uh, I mean, you never know. I he's see, not, I, he's in jail, isn't he? He's, <laughs> he might be in jail, I don't know, I love Paul, but he just, you know, he goes crazy, so like, one day he's like, you know, chilling, next thing you know, it's 6am, he's on live, and 
he's going crazy and then he's like you know doing then he's in jail and he's getting you know like and I, he, he's, he's still on the show you know but I wouldn't be surprised if you know he he either like either learns like oh, I can't be like that wild anymore or like I'm not gonna be on the show you know like but he's he's doing what he's doing you know I I, I he's just chilling <laughs> you know Siesta Key MTV man season three is coming up soon we got Brandon Gomes here in the studio dropping about facts about his life his music career what he thinks about his castmates man I love that you're keeping it a hundred on the show 100%, man hundred percent man you know that's what it is you're not you know? scared of these uh, these these castmates they come out you call me cruel no nah, I'm not I mean you know like they they all know like I got I got love for them you know but they know what it is they can call me what they want too it's it is what it is you know we're on a TV show you know so it's like. We get to see all these sides that you don't really get to see behind closed doors. So I know what it is, you know, like, like <clears throat> I've been called things in my face and I'm like, that's how you feel. That's cool. You know, like, I'm glad you're being honest, you know, but it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm not scared of them. You know, I'll say what I want, say how I feel. That's, that's what I, that's what I learned being on TV. You know, can't be scared to say anything. What's up with uh, the Bahamas? How's that affected you this year? Oh uh, man, the Bahamas. I'm actually wearing the Bahamas shirt right now. Yeah. So, I mean. The Bahamas, like, you know, that was horrible because I was actually just in the Bahamas, like, two weeks before, like, all that struck. And it was just so sad because I was seeing, like, all, like, the people out there. Like, they're all cool, living their life, chilling, like, with, like, the least that you could have, you know. And they're still, like, loving life and happy and all that. And then the hurricane hit and, like, was, like, staying over them, like, moving one mile an hour. Like, just terrible. Worst case scenario. But a lot of my friends got together and we put like a lot of like clothes and food and like school supplies and stuff and put it on a jet and sent it over like you know actually Alex's mom Beth helped out with that as well you know so we like as much resources as we could pull together we sent out help to the Bahamas yes yeah, I saw you getting involved in that and I appreciate that support man no, 100% man you have to you know gotta show love that's it baby where are you from though I'm actually from I'm from Sarasota, Florida. I was born and raised. But my what's this flag on your Instagram? Next so so the flag it's, it's a Cape Verdean flag. That's man, so, I would have not known that. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't know what Cape Verde. Yeah, so Cape Verde is eight little islands off the west coast of Africa, and that's where my family was. My my father was born there. Um, my mom's 100 percent Cape Verdean too, but she was born in New York. But um, so yeah, I'm like first generation off the boat, Cape Verdean, and like my grandma speaks Creole, like. So it's like that's I just I take pride in that because like that's what I that's what my family is you know that's who I see I spend the most time around and you know I want to go I haven't never been there so I want to go that's back. That's on the bucket list, man. It's definitely on the bucket list. Get back to see those roots and heritage. That's cool, man. Exactly. I didn't think I was getting a little bit of geography lesson, man. I didn't yeah, even man. knew about that place. They speak Dude, Creole there too, they though. Because yeah. they speak Creole down here. Yeah, well, it's like a it's like yeah. a Portuguese Swahili Creole. It's not so much like the French and and like Haitian Creole. Got you. Got mm-hmm. you. Brandon Gomes, baby. Debut album is out. Season three out, man. Coming out. We got a lot of big things, man. That's Brandon Gomes here from Siesta Key MTV. Season three is about to drop. Album called Left Coast. All out now. Everyone can get it. It's all out now, man. You know, Brandon Gomes, debut album, Left Coast out now on all music platforms. Siesta Key coming out. You already know my Instagrams and all that. We're in the... We're in the studio, Golden TV, man. Much love, bro, for having me here, man. Yeah, a lot you. of love, man. We we appreciate you taking some time coming in here. I got a privilege of seeing you perform last night, which was just dope as hell. So I had to share your talent with all our viewers, all our listeners. Viewers, we appreciate your time for listening, watching with our show. Like, subscribe, share. Not just our show, but with Brandon Gomes. Follow him on all his social media. Get in touch with all of his talent, man. We appreciate everything. Thank you for joining us on another episode of the Talk Golden to Me video podcast show from the studios here at the Berman Law Group. Till next time, we out of here. Peace. Peace. BG, let's sing a little song to them as we get out of here. Oh, what yeah. you got? What are you feeling right what now? What do you got, man? What are you feeling? A little acapella, a little freestyle? A little acapella, yeah. It's like, you know, it goes... VIP to the VMAs, forget a chain, I cop real estate, yeah, shawty sweet, ooh, creme brulee, yeah, grand crew in my lemonade, I'm never home cause I'm always touring, wrist card and got a tip to dormant, feed her cloud and make her feel important, yeah, I'm off-roading and I'm foreign. <laughs> yeah, Brandon <laughs> Gomes, baby, it's keep it sad. real, thank you for having Much us, baby. Much love, bro. Much love. Keep go it too. golden, stay golden for life. All right, bro. We out of here. Peace. One.